Here we are at the Princeton Swap with Tommy, Indie Guy Rob, and 600 other of my closest friends. All right, so uh, here we are. Well, Tommy disappeared already, but I'm here with Indie Guy Rob. And uh, if you read the comments on the videos, you see Rob comments all the time. And what do you know? I met him within about the first 30 seconds of showing up this year, and Rob comes bearing gifts. It's pretty awesome. What'd you bring, Rob? Not just for me either. No, I got a got a couple of gifts. Well, for you, I got uh, a couple of Fox gas shocks that you we were looking for on your Princeton swap list wish list. Uh, they came off a 94 RXL. Uh, hopefully they're going to be good for uh, for walnuts, I think, is your plan, right? So, yeah, I think they'll end yeah. up on the front of walnuts. Yeah, yeah, so hopefully that's it. And the rest is actually for Mr. Todd Klein. I got a, I got a 95 RXL uh, injection uh, injectors. There's actually a wiring harness and an ECU. I think he only needed the ECU, but the whole rest, it's all, both parties, it's just a gift to the shop and... Thanks for everything you guys do for this. So, Well, we appreciate it, Rob. Yeah. What do you guys think the odds are that there'll be some sort of a video where Todd and I actually do a beer crack together when I drop these parts off at his house? Uh, pretty darn good. Pretty I don't know. Good. It's been a while. About I have. The, yeah, about the odds are that I'm going to have another couple more beer, right? Uh, yeah, pretty, about, good. pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, that's the intro to Princeton, and uh, we'll be back with lots more Princeton swap coverage. Cheers, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm here with my buddy Shane Chapman. We're doing a little Thursday pre-shopping, and Shane brought the cool stuff. Check this out. So, Shane, are these already selling? It's Thursday. It's, what, 2.30 in the afternoon? I actually I should have built more. Um, <laughs> I, I think I've sold five already, and we haven't even let people in yet. So This is insane. I mean, look at the swap is empty. I mean, Shane is the first one, really, with anything out. And look at, but look at these signs. You know, this is just some of the cool stuff that you'll get at this Princeton swap. That, you know, maybe you'll see it somewhere else if Shane's there. <laughs> so, yeah, they're LED backlit. Um, I can build you anything that you want, customize it, put your name on it, your business, anything you want on them. They're two hundred bucks. Um, any design, so brands also. So. Oh, Scorpion. I might need a skedaddler in the future, Shane. I haven't made a skedaddler yet. I've done a. I have a bunch of other ones, but it they'll be kind of made to order. You know, the big, the big guys are the Hardy Cat and Players ones. So yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, I can make you whatever you want. So find me on Facebook, Shane Chapman. There you go. Yep. Cool stuff. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, man. It's 4 o'clock on Thursday. They don't let swappers until 5. That's the swapper queue there. Quite a few people lined up already, and they'll be selling stuff shortly. So uh, Tommy and I, we are vintage sponsors, which is a different deal. We get to be up on the hill in the sponsor area. We can still sell stuff or do whatever. I'm not selling anything. But, uh, you know, it's like early access and... Uh, premium parking although these first swappers are going to get some premium parking too all right there's the first swap for princeton he just pulled into his spot it's uh yeah, it's 4 30 they're letting him in a half hour early you got this black chevy coming in over here got the motor homes what do you think they're backed up about a mile probably backed up about a mile out on the county road here's the second swapper they're coming in All right, I'm here with my buddy Steve, and I've already found a thing on the list. Steve opens up his trailer, and what's there? The mythical inch and a quarter lightning bolt. How much did you sell it to me for, Steve? We negotiated, we went back and forth, it was a struggle, but I was able to get three beers out of them. So I got three beers out of Nutter. Try that. <laughs> I think it's worth it. All right, it's Thursday morning finally here. And uh, the swap, well, that's, uh, that's the uh, vintage vendors. There's Shane. And uh, they're rolling in down there, if you can see that. And it's full to the road. So uh, it's time to start walking the swap. 
All right, here we are Friday at the Princeton Swap. I was just getting into the swap. I ran into Taylor. Taylor, tell us your story. Uh, originally from South Louisiana, South Texas, moved to Colorado about three years ago, immediately got into vintage sleds, and uh, here I am. Taylor watches the channel, leaves comments, and uh, he emailed me and said, Nutter, I got something I think you need. So uh, what'd you bring here today, Taylor? I don't know the year. I figured you'd know more about it, but uh, I've been told it's a TXL motor. It so. is a TXL motor, and it ain't stuck. Yeah, I figured there was only one good home for it. It'd be at, at Nutter's place. So recently acquired a 95 Storm. Being up in Colorado, I knew a lot of people didn't have experience with elevation. I got on the internet, started searching, Googling. I got on, uh, I think it was Hardcore Sledder. I saw a post from 10, 15 years ago. A guy mentioned he had a 95 Storm. Um, he was giving somebody some advice. His phone number was at the bottom of it. I looked up the area code. It was Salt Lake City. I knew he had experience at elevation. I texted him. 15 minutes later, he texted me back. We've been chatting. Uh, a couple weeks later, he said he had a bunch of snowmobile parts he wanted to get rid of. This is one of them. So. Sweet. Well, well, we'll put that to good use, folks. Yeah, you know, I got good. TXL projects coming up. In fact, I got way too many TXL projects. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to go to a good home. Good deal. So, All right. Thanks, Taylor. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, trying to get back out into the swap. Here's Stratacheck selling a wild one. You can thank me for Strat wearing the t-shirt. I'll tell you the story sometime. Morning, Baldy. Yeah, good morning. Check out Baldy's <laughs> YouTube channel.
Wagon's getting a little fuller. We got some gold rails. All the shafts are stuck on it, but still, it's rails. And uh, TXL high windshield. Can't beat that. Oh, you got a storm on the trailer here. 1200 bucks. Zoom, it says. We may have to ponder on this one.
Oh, hey, Jason, Jason Erickson from Let's Fix Something. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. Yeah? Got a backpack full of stuff. So. Really? Yeah, I'm filling up the wagon. I'd be doing good. I'd be uh, having a beer, but I can't pull the wagon, film, and have a beer all at the same time. So, good seeing you. Good seeing you. Morning. He watches the channel. What's your, what's your name? Say hi to everybody on the channel. Hi, I'm Elroy. Elroy? Yeah. All right. Thanks for uh, yeah. thanks for bringing stuff to swap. Right on, John. See ya. Look at this XLT over here. It's an SKS. It's a 95 with the reverse. It's just like the Grape Ape. Holy cow. That's a good looking sled. Hood's a little dull, but uh, this guy did a full build. Fox shocks, updated suspension. He's got a tall track. This thing's a bargain. Basically did the Grape Ape build.
Hearst drone engine. Very cool. Of course, Randy's got all the cool stuff always. No, no, no. <laughs> we found that on the road. Oh, yeah. That is so cool, <laughs> Randy. <laughs> All right, cart's getting more and more loaded. I'm headed back to the trailer now. I don't want to scratch up that helmet or the windshield, so we'll go back, we'll start over. We're in uh, 1415 here. All right, there's where I bought the helmet. Coming back without the wagon this time. Seats by Conrad, these are premium. These are about the nicest seats I think you can get.
Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Here, I got a sticker for you. Perfect. What's your name? Wayne. Wayne? You're on, you'll be on the Princeton YouTube now. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you too. No That's all right. <laughs> XLT was last year. We're moving on. It's yeah. ultra, ultras and other stuff this year. Right. You can only do so many XLT videos. Yeah. <laughs> That is not a Skidoo. That is a StarCraft 340 Eliminator with a big single cylinder Sox engine. Sold. Very cool. Very rare. RXL. Maybe I should do an RXL project one of these days.
Peter. Hey. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't specify the shirt when you say he's got to wear a shirt. The man has no shame. And, and if you said the word muffin top, you, it, it doesn't even begin to capture it. <laughs> all because of you. That is awesome. And tomorrow is going to be worse. This is perfect. So this is what happens if you show up in the middle of the night and need an emergency part for your Eagle River sled. You make a deal with Nutter, this is the deal. This is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. It's time you made another bushing. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be I need to be more specific. Oh uh, well I don't know if you guys told the story about how yeah. you made a bushing already to yeah. need wear oh, a yeah. shirt. I think that's kind of a half approach, but I need to be more specific. Yeah. Well, he's kinda bush. halfway holding up the deal. It's like kissing your sister, right? It's I, I've yeah. never done that. You What's know. it like, Rob? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you better ask. He, he lives in the city. That, he lives in the city that rhymes with fun. What do you? What do you think? You guys are both from Saskatchewan. I know. Yeah. I don't know. I, mean, I heard there's a lot of sister kissing up in Canada. Oh, well, you gotta stay warm in the winter. <laughs> I just, I've just alienated half my viewers. No, I love you Canadians. That's why I'm hanging out with these guys. All, All right. right. Thanks, guys. I don't know how long I can wear this shirt. I'm actually that embarrassed. That, that's really saying something. <laughs> so in case you missed the plot of that story, this is my good friend Mike, and uh, he races at Eagle River, and he's from Canada, so he comes a long ways down. He stopped to practice somewhere on the way, and something, some bushing, some bearing went bad on his sled. And so he needed me to make an emergency bushing so that he could use some oddball bearing and actually make it work. Uh, I made the part for him, and it worked. He raced at Eagle River. He made it the whole weekend. But, uh, you know, the part of the deal was my, Mike got done and says, what do I owe you? And I said, wear a shirt at Princeton. He said, what day? I said, all weekend. So Mike's kind of infamous for not wearing a shirt the whole weekend. So the fact that he had any shirt on is a win, although I think he stretched the deal. He knew that that uh, belly shirt was certainly not what I wanted to see, and I don't think anybody wanted to see it. But he made the video because Mike's a big ham and he, he likes this kind of stuff. Thanks, Mike. You're a good sport. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. This is just part one. Uh, thanks to the patrons. You guys are the best. And I did meet some patrons at Princeton. Obviously, they're going to be in part two or part three or part something. I don't know how many videos I'm even going to get. I shot a lot of footage. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my merch, my t-shirts and stuff, and check out the Patreon page if you want to support the channel. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and we'll see you on the trails.